Nice. All right. Tell me again if the audio is a little weird today, type it in. Um, I think it worked yesterday, but we have a mic here now. Uh, so if I end up screaming at you, I apologize. I just get very excited. Nice job in front position. Bow. Step it out. Two more breaths. And out. One more in. And out. And up. Very good. Okay. So let's, we're gonna, we'll start with our stretch today. I don't know if there's a particular part of your body that needs it a little bit more. I'll kind of try to do a nice well-rounded stretch. Not very long, but uh, we'll hopefully start to feel that. So take your hands all the way up. I like to start here, okay? Big fan of that, all right? Uh, let's go over to one side and stretch it out. We'll take about one or two breaths in each position, right? Over to the side here and out, back up and right into the other side. Good, one more out, back up to center. Let's open up, oh, I'll open my hands. Lean forward, that should feel good in your spine, mixing it the other way, bending backwards. One more breath, and out, back up. Okay, over to the right. Good, now let yourself roll. Good, all the way through, this time, up. Good, over to the left, we're gonna roll it, take it down, and we're gonna stay low. Boom, good. Take your hands, plant them underneath your feet so that your big toes are in your wrists, okay? A little bit of a wrist action, okay? Try to uh, straighten your legs and stand up, but let your head hang. Good, push your toes into your wrists, your wrists into your toes. Stay there, ready? We're gonna lower almost into a squatting position. Sit back, so you should drop your height. Good, and then stand up again. Good, stretch out those legs. Good, breathe in as you drop. Out as you extend. Good, we're gonna do it one more time. In through your nose. And extend out as you stand back up. Good, release your hands. Keep your left hand on the floor, right hand all the way up. Stretch it, look to the sky. You can bend your left leg, straighten your right. One breath in here and out. Good, if you wanna hold any particular stretch longer than what I am and it feels extra good, please do. You don't have to stay with me, I'm just giving you guys suggestions. Right hand on the floor, left hand up, twist. Right leg is now bent, left leg is straight, up to the sky. Exhale, back to center. Good, from here, I want you to come to the balls of your feet and then squat all the way down. If you wanna work your balance, you can hug your legs in. If you're like, no, I wanna keep my hands on the floor, that's fine. Okay, really, really tight, tight little ball. From here, drop your knees. Okay, I'm gonna keep my toes together today and splay my knees out to get the stretch into my hips here. Good, stretch and breathe. Good, from here, Push back up, keep your knees open, okay? If you need to come up a little bit, that's fine. If you can sit back onto it, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna come up a little bit, wherever your comfort level is, but opening that up, a little bit of a different sensation. You might need to, need to adjust my knee pants, okay? But as I'm gonna push out on the floor, I'm sitting down into it, so you're gonna feel that a little differently. This is 
somewhat of a, a newer stretch for you guys. If you need to adjust on the floor, it's kind of like I'm doing a center split, right? But from my knees instead of my feet out, okay? From here, stay up, or if you're sitting down into it, that's fine, okay? I want you, we've done this before, we're gonna to start to turn. I'm not gonna go as far back as I normally do because I don't have my grounding underneath me. So I'm gonna to turn to my right, open up my chest, and do your nose. Back to center, and then to the other side, the low hips, because now you're starting to feel that. Back to center. Good, take your hands. I know, I feel that in my hips already, but we're gonna open them up more, right? Because in our form today, we're gonna have some kicks. I don't want your kicks up. I'm gonna drop my uh, feet behind me now. So I'm, I had my toes touching, now I have them open, and I'm gonna sit back down into it. Push. Breathe. Good, one more breath here. Like I said, moving a little quicker through our, our, our stretch so that we can get actually a big variety of stretches. Spread your feet open a little bit wider. I'm gonna come up now and I'm gonna hit that split as much as you can. If you're like, this is enough and you want your hands on the floor, cool. Push yourself, okay, open up your feet a little bit more if you can. Try to only move one at a time, okay? Some days you might be really close, some days you might be farther. Stretch, if you want your forearms down, you want your hands down, whatever you can. Like today, I don't feel like this is as far as I, I've done in the past, but every day is a new day. Breathe. Good, keep your feet on the floor. Walk yourself over to one side. I'm going to my left, so I'm gonna drop my right knee. You don't have to, but you can drop it as I come up. Side slip here, boom, one hand on either side. Good, one more breath here. Good, back up, and let's walk it to the other side. You wanna keep both feet up and high, you can. You wanna drop that back knee, drop your toes, absolutely fine. If your knee is dropped though, try not to have like a runner's lunge on the ball of your feet. Get the instep of your foot down. Stretch into it. Lean forward. Good, one more breath. Good, come back to center. Okay, I want you to bring your feet a little bit closer, not all the way, just a little bit from where they were. Okay, I want you to turn back over to your first side, which might be your, uh, for me it's my left. This time, instead of straddling uh, my foot with both my hands, I'm going to keep both of my hands on the inside. But you'll notice that my foot is higher than where my hands are. So from here, I'm going to lean into it almost like a lunge, like a runner's lunge, right? So I'm going to lean into that. If you need to drop your back knee, you can push forward a little bit more. If you don't, that's fine. You can just lean forward. I already feel that. If you're like, I can got this, and this is super easy, go ahead and put your forearms down. That's hard. Okay, so I'm going to keep my hands down. I'm going to keep the floor to push and to breathe. Okay, boom, breathe. Lean into it. One more breath here. Good. Okay, back to center. Right, you're not as wide as you were before. All right, let's rotate to the other side. I'm walking myself slowly with my hands, as you see, letting my hands rotate. My right foot is in front of my right arm. And we're opening that up here. I'm gonna keep my back foot lifted, but if you, again, wanna drop it, lean off the back foot, push into it, so that your right knee is staying bent, or if it's your left, that's fine. And breathe, stay. Good, one more breath here. Good, and back to center, using that, All right? Lean back into it. This time, you're not as wide as you were before, fine. Right? Take your hands, put them behind you and through your feet now. Gently pull yourself down. Good, one more breath here. And out. Good, I'm gonna put my hands forward now and I'm gonna drop my knees. 
Okay, I'm gonna be in this position. Take your right hand. Okay, you're gonna go all the way underneath. You're gonna let your shoulder, right? A little bit of shoulder back. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna drop my arm down. You wanna reach your other hand up, your left hand, that's fine. You wanna keep it bent here. Give me the facing you guys so you can see more. Thread through here, breathe, rotate. Good. Take that left hand, not the one that's underneath. Keep it down on the floor. Take that right hand, reach it all the way back up. Good, push in the ground. Good, and release. Good, right hand is back down. Take your left hand up, but really just to thread through. Underneath, get your shoulder down. You can let your ear touch the floor. If you're outside, you can hover a little bit. You'll still feel that. Good, now take, come back up. Left hand back up. And back down in front of you. Okay, right from here, I'm gonna roll to my back. All right, we'll get a couple more hips, couple more back, and we'll come back to our feet. Okay, my feet are gonna come up. Okay, I'm gonna start with my back, taking both knees together over to one side. Okay, and I'm gonna look to the opposite side using my body almost like a towel. That's what I want you guys, when you're wringing out a towel, boom, this way, that's what you're doing to your body. Your legs are going one way, your upper body's going the other way. One more breath in and out. Good, back through center with your knees, slowly hug them in, bring them tight, almost like a crunch, and slowly to the other side, boom. Make sure you look in the opposite direction than where your knees are. Good, one more breath in, out, back to center, same here. Okay, from here, because we're gonna get into a plank in a second, roll out your wrists, forwards and backs, circles, Good, let's finish with one more uh, hip. All right, bring that one leg in front. I'm using my right leg first. Now I'm mirroring, I'm not mirroring you guys, but I'm facing the same direction as you are. So I'm pulling my left leg towards me, pushing my right knee away from me. If you wanna thread through and pull, hopefully you guys can still hear me with this mic. I'm trying not to yell at you. Boom, breathe it in. Hello, right hip. And out. One more breath in. And out. Good, slowly release it, but I don't need to fully drop. Okay, bring it in. And switch it over. Good, left leg on top of right. Push the left knee out. You wanna use your arm to push out. When you thread through, you can use your left elbow to push your left knee. Pull your right towards you. Let's do it. Good, breathe here. Good, one more breath. And release your feet. Let's roll back over, let's get into our workout. Quick workout before we get into our form. Roll over back to the front. Let's go right into it, okay? It's Friday, happy Friday if I didn't say that. Let's get into our daily plank. Okay, so let's start it off. That's gonna be our first exercise to fire our core up, fire our body up. Now that hopefully we're stretched out a little bit. If you need something else, do it. Okay, plant your hands, set your feet, push up and hold. Get your back straight, rotate. You guys know the draw on this. I think I've done a plank in almost every class uh, during this time. So hopefully, not that they're getting easier, but hopefully you're getting stronger. All right, just hold it and breathe. Good, you're halfway there, so keep going. Today might feel a little bit easier because we're starting at the plank. Maybe it's a little bit harder. 
Whatever it is, you guys can do it. Just push through. Make it tight. You've only got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, drop. Good. One minute today. Actually, it was one minute and five seconds. Okay. Maybe next week I'll push us and we'll start doing them longer. Maybe we'll start, because that's closer to the max of what we've been doing, but maybe uh, we'll start doing minute 10, minute 20, and then by Friday next week we'll do a whole two minutes. Um, let's make our way back to our feet. Let's get our, our legs burning. All right, we're gonna start with our um, shallow front ball kicks today. All right, we're not gonna do a absolute ton. We're not gonna do an absolute a long, long workout today, but I want to fire our muscles up in a somewhat uh, shorter work because I do want to get to uh, the other uh, piece that we're going to work on today. So have everyone please drop down to one knee, whatever one you're going to do. I'm going to call it out, okay? I'm not even going to tell you the number. I have it in my head, but I don't want you to think about it. I don't want you to just push and go. Here we go. One, back up, drop, two. Try not to rise too much on the way up, though. Three, stay consistent, even pace. Four, five, burn it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch your feet right away. One, two, hello. Three, four, five. Six, seven, not too fast, but stay with me. Eight, nine, ten. We are not done. Switch your feet. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Switch your feet. Other side. One, two, Three, four, five, let's go, switch your feet. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, switch your feet. Other side, let's go, one, two, you guys are gonna love me tomorrow, three, four, Five, let's go, switch your feet, one more set. One, two, three, four, five, last set of five. Total of 25, that's a lot on each. One, two, three, four, and five. Back down, finish it. Very good, shake it out. You guys did legs at the gym already today. Let's burn them out. Okay, last piece of our legs. Here we go, feet together. I want you to pretend like there's a chair behind you, and I want you to just sit down into it. When I say feet together, just like techniques, it doesn't literally have to mean feet touching. They're just not open, okay? So we're gonna sit down to here, ready? Static hold. You guys, I will get the theme of our workout here, okay, ready? Sit and hold it. Just hold, you want your hands up, you want your hands in, you want your hands out, Put it up to you. Don't let your knees go over your toes. Really, your toes should be able to pull off the floor and peel, and you should sit, and your legs should be burning. My arm, they shake, let them shake. You got 10 more seconds. 10, nine, sit lower, eight, keep your back straight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one up, Ooh, my legs are shaking for sure. Okay, very good. Let's still work our way back down. Okay, if you guys wanna do uh, a dip or a push up, you guys could pick between the two, right? Push ups here, any variation. If you wanna do a dip, if you have a chair, you could do a high dip, or you could do the long ones from here. Absolutely fine, whatever's comfortable for you. If you need to do something completely different, also fine. So here's our count. 
okay? We're gonna do 10, okay? Like this. We're gonna go one, two, three, up. Okay, so you're gonna see the little pulse. One, two, three, up. All right, that's one, even though I'm counting to three. So you're gonna do 10, so it's almost like 30 little ones and 10 big ones. Okay, so I'm gonna count it. Stay with me if you'd like. If you don't, then you're like, I don't wanna do it. All right, that's your choice. So here we go. Plant it up, ready? One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. You could do the same for your triceps. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. You're halfway there. Let's go. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. Two more. One, two, three, nine. Last one. Push it. One, two, three, ten. And drop. Very good. All right, just a, another little way to uh, mix that up. Let's finish up with our core, legs, arms, core. You guys know me. Here we go. We're gonna hit our 10 point today, counting to 10. Woo, burn it. Because we're gonna get into a form today, so something a little different. All right, uh, leg lifts. I'm gonna take my triangle. Okay, I'm gonna put it underneath my belt or under my tailbone, if that's comfortable for you. All right, I'm gonna get my leg straight out in front. All right, we're not doing 10 point abs, we're doing 10 different leg positions. We're doing our leg lifts or our water pumps, if you want to think that way, we're counts of 10. You guys know how to draw. Let's draw today. Here we go. Up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Draw the number one. Draw the number two. Big. You get your obliques when you're doing this. Three, four, whoo, five, push, six, hmm, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do not put your legs down. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. One, draw two. You guys are getting there. Three, whoo, breathe. Four, five, especially because we didn't have a plank already. Six, so I did it first. Seven, eight, nine, do not put your legs down. We got 10 more. One, two, three, feet together. Four, push it, breathe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Slowly lower after 10. Slow, 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 slow. Whew. Now release it. Arms long, legs long, stretch your core. Breathe in through your nose. And out, in through your nose, and out. Very good. All right. Hopefully you guys are nice and worked out. I am. All right. It's been fun for me because I'm getting way more workouts with you guys during these classes. All right. Let's stand it up. Today, um, yesterday we did a lot of flow. Today we're going to work a form and we're gonna find flow and power within it. Some of you may know this form, and that's absolutely okay. Some of you might be uh, review. So I want you to find different timings, different nuances. Some of you may have never learned this form before. Okay, so today we're gonna to do kata one. Okay, Shaolin system, uh, something a little different to play with towards the end of the week. I started the week with long form two in the American Kempo system. I'm ending the week with kata one. I needed to do this at my orange belt test. Okay, so something a little fun for you guys, something a little bit different. So start nice, strong front position. All right, I'm gonna do it like we do our forms, facing you a little bit, facing away from you. If you guys need to see something again, 
I'm gonna break it down slowly, not a long form. You guys, we're gonna get through this whole form today. All right, so I'm gonna start facing away from you so I can talk. Now, because of this mic, hopefully I don't have to talk too loud, but if you cannot hear me uh, and you're in my live class, type it out. If you're on YouTube, don't type it out, I don't get it. Okay, nice shoot up front position. Okay, this is a shallow form. Salutation's a little shorter. I'm just gonna show the bow. Okay, my right leg, because this is my shallow form, is gonna step to the side instead of my left. So I'm sure you're differentiating between the two. So again, I show a little bit of a bow. What all that looks like from here is a bow, like I'm saluting you. I'm gonna step out. Okay, with my right leg. So when I do that, bow, step out, I'm gonna pull my hands back to my ribs. I'm gonna do a double upward block with a nice lot of PI. Push! And pull my hands back to my ribs. That's your whole salutation. Okay, again, it looks like this. Bow, and back. Okay, so it's a quick block, double cross, leaving that space between my arms, right hand on top, pulling it back to my ribs. From here, left leg front kick, landing forward, front kick, land forward, forward bow punch. Okay, now if I've taught you this form before, sometimes I say, dance is a little, you know, I'm gonna adjust a little bit today for more of our American Kempo forward bows, that kind of stuff. Shaolin system, they didn't have forward bows. They didn't teach that settling motion. Totally fine. So here we go. All right, bow, step out, double, hands to your ribs, double block up with a key eye, left kick, land forward, right punch, forward bow. Right, leaving it out there now, right kick, land, uh, front ball kick, left forward, pull, left hand, pull, forward bow punch. I'll do that part facing you, give you about 30 seconds, a minute to work on that, and we'll add on. Bow. All right. Take about one minute, try it, not very long. One of the things you're gonna see in today's form is a lot of different pieces of timing. Okay, that's why I started talking about this. We're gonna hit hard and soft today. All right, so we're gonna find those and I'll explain and you guys can start to play with that. All right, let's do it together. All right, so we're gonna hit a bow, step out and pull, double key eye. Good, left leg kick, land punch, kick, land punch. I'm facing 12 right now, I'm gonna forward bow. I'm gonna turn counterclockwise, Towards six o'clock, pulling my left leg into a cat stance, pulling my right, hands back to my ribs. Pop. I'm gonna step out of my cat into a left neutral bow with a double block up. This time my left hand is on top. I'm gonna block down with my left as I pull my right hand back to my ribs. And I'm gonna hit my forward bow punch again. Okay, I'll show it to you. So from the front, so you can see this new part. Roll, flowing through, pop. Hit, pop, hit, pull, pop, boom, hit. And that's the first piece of timing of three. Okay, one, two, three. That I want you guys to play with and see because you're going to see that a lot throughout the form. Okay, this form should be pretty. There is a practical application to it as well. Okay, so if you need to see something, please tell me. Boom, kick, land, punch, kick, land, punch, pull, one, two, three. Okay. Questions? Good. So Terry's asking a question. I'm aware of my cat with it. I'm going to pull into the cat. I'm going to step out of the cat. Right? So I'm here. Pull cat. One, two, three. There it is. Okay. From here, I'm going to pull my left leg to my right, facing 1030. I'm gonna pull my hands into a cup and saucer to my right side, left hand on top. Boom. And what that position here is it's here. I'm facing 1030. Here are my 1030, I'm here. All right, so from here, left leg is gonna step out into a low horse. I'm gonna drop in and I'm gonna do a double downward block, right hand on top. Two, nice and low. So lower than your traditional stances. Since they gave, you can also share it. Like his show to Confel, right? We're low, right? This is going to work your legs. I know we did some shallow front ball kicks. Okay, so we're going to get extra burn in your legs. We're going to actually do that same set that we just did, right? One, two. You're going to see when I do that, right? Timing wise, 
It comes in and then right back out. But we're going to do that two times in the form. Second time is facing towards 12 o'clock. Exactly the same. Left leg to right with your cup and saucer. On your right side, step out. Double walk down. Okay. I'm going to show you that from the beginning again. We'll flow through. Give you a second to practice and answer questions. I'll do it facing you so you guys can see it. Boom. Right. I'm not going to go too fast right now if you're watching. You're gonna kind of see when I come in, you guys, I'm coming up with my height a little bit and I'm dropping low, come up, drop low. Okay, from there, actually, how are we doing? Cool, good. Oops, are there comments and thoughts and questions? No. Cool, yeah, I'll, I'll yell on it, okay? Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do the next part facing you. This would be my 12 o'clock, okay? I just came in, right hand on top. I'm in a nice horse, right hand over. I'm thinking like there's a kick in front of me. I'm gonna open my hands here. I'm gonna trap it, okay? When I do that, I'm gonna be tossing the foot. If someone were kicking me in, I would be catching it with a double downward block. Now, for those of you brown belts in the room, you guys have defensive cross, right? I would be catching and stepping back Okay, somewhat similar motion. I'm just not going to move my feet in this form. So I have my downward block, I have my catch, and then I'm going to toss his leg. And then here's where I can start to flow a little bit. And then I'm going to settle in. Whoa, and I like to breathe through this part. This right hand is an upward passing parry above my head, and the left hand is like a knife hand check right up in front of me. So that's a uh, double block, trap, toss, and settle. Okay, right up into there. All right, from here. And I'm not mirroring you right now, but I will turn around in a moment. Okay, I want you guys to think a little piece of five swords is coming next. Right leg is gonna step forward, okay? I'm gonna go in double knife hand block to the arm. Bicep, radial nerve, right onto it as I step forward. I'm into this position. One, I'm gonna pull now, cup and saucer, open hands now, trapping. Someone's now, I blocked them. So one punch came around, I blocked the hook punch, but now he came in with an uppercut punch. It's this attack. One, two. So I blocked this guy, or blocked this guy, this, this punch, trapped this punch, and then I'm gonna spear him right into the throat, tracking up his arm. Because if his arm was here for an uppercut, I blocked it and I tracked right up into the throat. There's another timing of three, right? We had one before, one, two, Three, here's another one. One, two, three. You're gonna notice when I get the uh, cup and saucer in here, when I get the trap, I absorb the trap, right? I don't just take it, but I go one, pull, and hit. That left hand stays up on check. If I face away from you, if I'm facing my 12 o'clock or the same direction you guys are from this last position, we had double block, okay, trap. Step in, one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna do it again from the beginning. You guys practice it or watch me. Please ask questions like usual. Okay, Kata one. First uh, set, um, there was pin on one, which was for yellow belt, and then Kata one for orange belt. There were five pinions in the Shaolin system, system up to black belt, six Katas. There was also Stature of the Crane, Northern and Southern two-man fist set. So you guys hear some of those. I've taught you guys Stature. We're going to get back into Northern and Southern as well. Don't worry about that. We will get that back. Okay. Uh, so just want to share some of these old classical forms with you guys just to give your body some new kind of motion, right? Sometimes it's good to break up what am I doing in short form three or long form four, right? To find these new pieces. Then go back and, and put the timing of this stuff, the strength in this stuff, to your other forms, okay? So let's do it from the beginning. How to one, bow, breathe, shoot, kick, pop, kick, hit, pull, one, two, three, 
Pull, low, pull, drop low, trap, toss it, five swords, trap, spear. Okay? And that spear is ready to throw. I'm in this position right now, facing 12 o'clock, right? Uh, diagonal angle to the spear, going right into the carotid, carotid artery, and then my check down, okay? Neutral bow. All right, you guys feel like you're ready for more. Let's do it. We have another set of three here. All right, I'm gonna face 12 to start again because the next one is back towards six. So I have my spear out. I'm gonna take that right hand. I'm gonna go back into another cat stance with my left leg, and that left hand, sorry, that right hand is gonna turn into a pressing palm down. Pop. Okay, so I'm pulling my left hand back to my ribs, right hand pressing palm. Watch that transition again. When I pull that cat, you're going to notice I can't just literally pull it. I'll have my feet in alignment with one another. You never want that in the cat stance. So you're going to have to pull it to the side. So when I rotate, I rotate. Now you can see two feet. That's a pressing palm down right in front of me, stopping. Okay, I'm going to step forward out of that cat with a palm strike with my left hand. Okay, you'll notice that my right hand then came up on check into this position. So that was A, right over here. One, two. Here's my uh, last part of that set of three. This is gonna be a front ball kick, nice and high, towards six o'clock with my hands up on guard. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna land forward. Pop, land, boom. And I'm a nice set in the right neutral bow. I like to keep my hands up on guard. So timing in that set. Boom, right? One, two, three, land. Okay, this is a form, you guys. Like I said, American Kempo doesn't have a lot of high kicks in their forms. Not, uh, the, the lower kicks are definitely more practical, but this is fun. All right, try to get your kicks up a little bit higher than you normally do. Get the ball on your foot out, make it pretty. Okay, martial arts, you gotta find the artistry and some of this stuff. Okay, so let's go back, facing the front, double downward block. Trap, toss, settle. You'll notice when I even settle, I drop my weight and my knees a little bit more. Step forward, double knife hand blocks. Pull and trap, absorb it. Spear, turn towards six. Look at the attack like always. Pressing palm down, palm strike forward. From ball kick, land forward. Okay, we're gonna go back towards 12 o'clock now. I'm gonna go outward block number two as I pull into another cat stance. Outward block. And my right hand is pulled back to my ribs, cat stance with my left, and step out back to knuckle punch to the chin. So now I'm beating up the opponents back and forth between 12 and 6. So I'll show you as we start to go through this, this is a quick form if you do it at full speed, even with slowing down pieces in the middle. Okay, let's go right from that same piece. We're gonna go palm down, palm forward, front ball kick, land towards 6, immediately look. Right, I have my double factor as I pull back, right? So my inward, outward block, just like out of um, uh, a point blocking set, pull and land forward back to the punch. Okay, we're almost at the end. All right, like I said, not a very long form, pretty easy for a lot of you guys to pick up, a lot of advanced ranks in the room, all right? Um, but even as a, white belt going to yellow belt in this system, you have way more material than I had to test going to like orange and purple belt. So you guys are doing awesome. Um, let's keep going right from there, right? I had my front ball kick to six, turn double factor out with lock number two with the cat, step out of the back and up the punch. Let's finish this thing off. All right, I'm gonna take that right leg, I'm gonna circle it up, almost like a C step towards my left leg as I now pull my, uh, Cup and saucer to my left side. Okay? I'm here's gonna check your balance. I'm gonna bring my right leg up and my right hand up. And what that looks like is this. I'm coming up into this position. I'm gonna look left and I'm gonna look right. When I look right, I'm gonna deliver a back fist and a side blade kick. Okay? When I do that and I reach flamingo, I'm gonna kick, pull it back, and I'm gonna land. So it's gonna look like this. And I pulled in, it comes up, I look, kick, land in my horse because then I'm gonna to have to do that on the other side. I'm gonna face back towards 12. So we did our hour block and our punch and my pull. I'm gonna pull it up, I'm gonna look. Back this side, break it, reef from angle, land to my horse. Take your left, pull it to the other side. Now I have my cup and soft on my right. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing. Left, up, left, 
Uh, right, I'm uh, sorry, left leg and arm is up. Look right, look left, back to the kick. We put the knee go land. So notice when I do that, pop in, land. Okay, let me do that part facing you guys. I was at the end here, right? I turned, outward block, punch, pull. I bring it up, look, pop, pull, in. Bring it up, look, look, pop, in. Okay, double block up, pull. There's your salutation. Hey! Right leg meets the left. And we're done. Okay, caught a one. So some of you, if, even if you've learned this, it's probably been a while. I don't think I've taught this one in an online class in the last couple of months, so it's been on my mind. All right, I'm gonna talk through it again from the beginning, and I'll talk through a little uh, different timings of pieces. Uh, so you can follow with me if you just wanna watch for a second, cool. Um, so we're gonna get into our bow. Hook, all right, kick, land, punch. Kick, land, punch, pull. One, two, three. Pull and settle, pull, settle, trap. And breathe up, good. One, two, three. One, two, three, pop. Turn, up, and now pull. Look, or sorry, pull up, look. Kick, pull in, cup and saucer. Bring it up, look. Kick, pop, double block, okay? Without talking through it too much, right? You'll hear my breath and you'll hear the timing. That's why I did that, one, two, three, one, two, three. But you can start to play with where those are as you're going. I'm gonna do it one time almost without talking. You guys kind of see where that is, see how uh, the dynamic of the flow, but the heart comes into play, okay? Two. Okay, and you guys could somewhat make that your own, right? You can find, I didn't take too much of a break between this one, pop, boom, boom, and this one. You can, but you don't have to, right? That's where your timing, right, is still intact. The one, two, three, one, two, three, that you can play with. Your pace is also something you can start to play with. You're gonna notice from here, I slowed this part down to breathe. <sighs> And then I made it hard again. That's why I like, you know, we were talking about flow a lot yesterday, right? And you guys can take a lot of that breathing throughout this and a lot of the hard strikes, okay? Why doesn't, I see one or two of you still moving. Why doesn't everyone try it best you can? Cut a one. Yeah. Cut the gallery do this thing. See you guys a little bit if you can. And move. All right, if you guys have questions, obviously, ask, please. Pop, boom, boom. Okay. Did you start with this thing? I got yeah. one, two, three. Here. Uh, to your right side. Boom. Down, right hand on top. No. Oh, it is right hand on top of the Boom. So, sorry, left hand top, then right hand on top of the block. Left hand on top of the cup and saucer, right hand on top of the block. Boom. Then goes through. So, Carrie was just asking where your cup and saucer, where your double blocks are on that piece. Okay. Left hand on top of the cup and saucer. When I do that part, and I'm watching you guys, so give me ideas of notes to give you. I don't go from here into the double block. I want full range of motion. So I go from here as I step, right? One, it pulls in transition to the double block. So I'll be into, let's see this position, pull, open, hit, pull, open, hit. 
so that my double blocks come from this position, not both from one side. But that left hand on top cup and saucer allows that motion in, in, in this position. Does that make sense? Any other particular? You guys should be really, really specific with this. Again, this is a form. I would encourage you guys get your kicks up if you can, as high as you can. It looks cool. These are definitely a little show your form. Good for tournament. Um, and while you guys are moving, I'll share this. There is a tournament, an online tournament, uh, that is open now. I was talking about this the other day. Um, if anyone in this room would like to submit kids and adults, uh, there are form divisions. You can't hear me. Too much. Ah, I, I, I'm not used to this thing. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm a little too close. I like to see you. Um, if you want to, there is an online tournament uh, from one of our friends is hosting it. If anyone is interested, we'll post up that information. It's an online tournament to record yourself doing forms. Uh, and it's open to kids and adults, uh, all, all, all ages, all ranks. Um, so you guys can practice your form a lot. The nice thing about an online tournament is that you don't have to uh, get one shot in front of judges. You can film it as many times as you want, pick your favorite one and send it in. Okay, uh, so that is something if you guys are interested. Uh, if you haven't done a lot of tournaments, cool. If you have, still, um, it's a good idea to just get that little bit of practice in. All right, I'm going to come closer again. So I push the All right, you guys. Um, do you have questions? If you do, unmute yourself, please. Um, how are we feeling? Something a little different today. Hopefully still a good little workout. Loved it. Yeah, that was, uh, oh, good. was that you? Yeah, it was me. I loved it. Cool. Thank you. Mel, did you have, did you have a question? Yes, I loved it too. Um, the first time we turned this, we turned to six o'clock after the last four go punch. Can, uh, can I just see what that looks like again? Is it just a cat stance? Yeah, so I'm into uh, here, pull, yeah. hands back, cat stance with my left, yeah. then I'll step out of it, block it. Okay, thank you. Good question. What else? Um, it's cool. I was uh, taking um, Sarah through a private lesson earlier. Um, and one of the things that she was asking to go through was 10 point blocking, um, which maybe we'll finish up with that just a breathing exercise today because um, it ties into our theme. But um, it's cool. This is another just one of those sets in form that at a test, uh, Sensei Dai is like, what else you got that you want to show? This is it, right? Stature of the crane. Um, any of those extra sets and forms, eagle set. Um, those of you who have uh, blocking set two or a finger set two, you guys sometimes ask like, what's my set for this form? Pick a set you haven't tested with, right? Pick another form that you're like, oh, we've explored this. You guys, we've exposed you to some more, like I said, sets and forms during this time um, than normal because it's good stuff to practice at home and it's good stuff to just come in and be like, I'm gonna, share this if I don't want to do my coordination set one at a test, um, which still learn that, we might still ask for it, but what else can you show us? Oh, Sensei Donnie, I can show you kata one. Awesome. Let's see it. Um, I had to do all these forms at my black belt test. You're not going to, I promise. Um, sorry, I shouldn't <laughs> promise. But, um, but just additional fun stuff for you guys to have. Okay, kata one. Where am I in time? Great. Awesome. Um, I told you guys, it's funny that these forms are that short that we can sometimes take these whole forms and teach them a, a whole form in one class. Um, let your body start to take over on these. Let your flow start to take over on these. Everyone, if you don't have more questions on Kata 1, let's finish off with uh, flowing through 10-point blocking. Um, I'll bow you guys out after that. And then if you're gonna stay, we have um, advanced uh, belt material class. All right, bow, good. Right leg steps out, shallow one step. 
Okay, let's set it up. Breathe, downward block number one, knife hand blocks. Good, number two, bring it up, ridge hand. And then reset it. Good, bring it up and open it out. Good, bend your fingers, you have your leopard's paw, bring it in underneath your eyes so you can still see, but trap. Then roll it, boom. So you can still see your palms in front of you, that's number five. Okay, bring it over to your right, bring it to your left, tiger's paw, number six. Three, bring it back to your left, bring it back to your right, and open it up, tiger's paw. I'm going a little fast through this, I think a lot of you guys have done this, if not, try the best you can just to follow. Right hand comes over, Okay, double X, this is what my arms look like, but I'm coming up to the neck, okay. Clear, monkey paw, pull in the collarbones, keep your elbows nice and tight, boom. This is the hard part, I want you guys to swim. Boom, right hand is gonna come up, ridge hand. Okay, I'm gonna switch my hands. Left hand is up, right hand is down, double hooks. Pull it in, now nice and tight. It's like you made a big circle into a small circle, like a spiral. Open it up to tiger's claws. One high, one low. Swim again. Left hand comes up. Right hand is down checking. Switch it again. Hook. Circle it up. Bring it in. Push it back out to tiger's claws. And close. And I would close. Okay. I'll do it one more time. Um, don't worry about completely fully learning this right now. This is just to calm you down to uh, breathe through the end of this, okay? One more time, breathing through. Now, setting one, two, breathe. And reset. Three, palms facing you, and open it. Four, and out. Five, good. Six, breathe, and out. The longer breaths as we go on in the set. Other side is number seven. Over the top, number eight. Hit and clear. Pull. Swim, number nine. Bring it up. Hook. Bring it in and out. Last one, number 10. Switch it. Hook, bring it in and out, bring it up and out. Uh, very nice. Happy Friday, you guys. Uh, thank you uh, for showing up today. Reminder, tomorrow, uh, one o'clock workout, two o'clock Q&A. Hop into those classes. They are great, great classes. Um, we are still continuing virtual classes next week as well. Um, but if you'd like private lessons, either in person or virtual, guys, contact us. Let's get you moving again through your material. Any which way you would like it so that you're comfortable, let's do it. Let's get it in the books. It's nice strong front position. Out. Step it out. Breathe. One more. And out. Come up. And salute. Happy Friday.